Hi guys, Brown here and welcome back to part 39 of my F1 2019 career mode here today for the penultimate round of this season here in Talagos in Brazil in Sao Paulo and it's a very good track and going off of the last race the championship that's something to definitely keep an eye on we're very close Red Bull and Ferrari constructor while they're close and we're all close at the top of the standings as well with Charles Leclerc of course Lewis Hamilton can also be world champion as well he's 47 points so behind Charles Leclerc so he has to win here in Brazil and then next in Abu Dhabi he has to win that as well that's without neither me and Charles scoring a single point though he he'll, he'll, would have won the title by three points so is it possible I don't know we would have seen we, that was our first run in Q1 this is our second run and we're, we are going to get through and we've actually gone fastest there in the final sector but that lap puts us P9 so we are come to be but Charles Leclerc is knocked out in Q1 so that helps us out as well which is lovely into q2 our first run puts us fastest and skipping on to the end of qualifying and that is going to be enough for us to get through into q2 lewis hamilton falls victim now and that's going to just hinder his chances of being champion it's pretty much over now to let's be honest into q3 this is our first run going through the kink and in towards glock corner a little bit wide there and now into the lock corner and we go very well on the exit and we lose the back end and we spun it on our first flying lap in Q3 that is slightly slightly embarrassing as Alex Albert nearly hits us in fact there so we're just gonna have to chill here wait for a gap and now get going again and now we'll actually get going and we'll do another lap on the set on the same set of tires to give us a bit of a, a buffer on what we can do in this race in this qualifying session and now heading up to the line this is one lap later we cross the line and that's going to put us into p3 in this race and now coming up to the line for our final attempt we're going to cross the line and it's going to be p7 p7 what 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 just happened there then the track improved massively we were comfortably ahead we went purple in sector one so the track just found some mega time but let's get into this grand prix it's lights out and away we go it's bottas v verstappen off the line then we've got a good start i knew i had to get to that inside and that's exactly what we did down the inside we go on the mercedes we're up into p4 now we have both alphas and max verstappen ahead it's bottas who leads from max verstappen from sebastian vettel and now we're challenging sebastian vettel right around the outside into turn four couldn't quite do it and now we're gonna have to wait for the next attempt which probably will be in a couple of corners time it's a lovely little move down the inside into that corner corner turn six i think it is we get the job done that's a mega move we're up into p3 and now we can get challenging after max verstappen here on lap four it's bottas who leads and we're going to go for the lunge down the inside of max verstappen in his ferrari and that is a lovely move he's going to be defending us here though so we've got to watch out he's going to try and go down our inside to get that move done and re overtake us but he couldn't do it this is a replay of what happened down the inside we get the job done there very easy very late on the brakes and what i love to see into turn one one lap later though that was probably a bit naughty let's be honest squeezing verstappen over to the point he has to back out a bit naughty but it's a game and i'm never gonna get punished for that real life questionable probably would but here comes max verstappen again on lap eight now back to our inside and we defend him again but it was just such a frustrating race this point of the race 
because I could see Bottas, I knew I had pace, but I just couldn't ditch Verstappen to do that, as Verstappen re-overtakes us here on lap 9, we go back down the inside to retake that position, and we do it in style then, just like we did to get past him in the first place. Here on lap 9, he's too far back now to re-overtake us here, and now he's going to have to wait his turn, and probably now till later on, but we managed to finally get away from Verstappen and now into the pits comes Valtteri Bottas to make his one and only stop he's going to go into the hards but it's around about here where Jeff actually gave me an alternate strategy to go on to the mediums but I just had to stay out for a couple of more laps and that's what these guys are doing they're doing the first strategy the original strategy which was from the softs onto the hards so that's what Bottas is doing here and that's what in one lap time as we see here Max Verstappen chasing us down he's going to pit and he's going to do the same thing in fact as Valtteri Bottas here on lap 14 going on to lap 15 so these guys are doing the original strategy from the softs onto the mid onto the hards rather and he's going to come out in a healthy healthy gap is Max Verstappen just ahead you can see Valtteri Bottas has a battle there in the background between George Russell and Sergio Perez skipping on though to lap 17 we've gone those extra laps and these tyres could have gone even further to be honest they felt beautiful but on lap 17 we are going to pit and we're going to go into the mediums which hopefully would give us that extra edge to continue our pace and get past Verstappen but we make a massive mistake here I dropped the clutch too early and then I just went into panic mode trying to re-engage it again and that just didn't work out so it's actually going to be very very close here with um, Max Verstappen and all that time we gained before the stops is probably gone now there is Verstappen at the top of your screen and now here he comes side by side out of the pits it's gonna be so close I think we're just ahead though, heading into turn 4, we just have our nose ahead, up the inside, and we're past Max Verstappen, and back into P2, and here comes the two Mercedes now, side by side, this is on board of Hamilton battling w away with um, Antonio Giovinazzi, and this is Charles Leclerc getting his own back, and Charles Leclerc is going to make it free wide down the inside into turn 4. He's going to overtake both Mercedes. That is a lovely move by the Monagash Charles Leclerc in his Ferrari. I've got to give him that amazing move. The two Mercedes side by side though. Giovinazzi is on the outside. Hamilton on the inside. That switches back though for this left hander. And then switches back again. But it doesn't matter. Because... Lewis has got the job done he's skipping on though quite later on into this Grand Prix on to lap 24 and we're just starting to apply the pressure to Valtteri Bottas we just we had with the pace over Max Verstappen in the end he just couldn't stick with us but skipping on now to lap 25 and this is Danny Rick retiring from the Grand Prix you can see here and this is actually back to back retirements for him he retired last time out in um, America as well as we swap Valtteri Bottas the dummy and get the job done on him and that is an absolutely amazing move on Valtteri Bottas there and now he's going to try and defend us it's on lap 27 and we are just about ahead and now hopefully we can start to build the gap we took it took us a little while to catch him but here he comes going on to lap 28 so literally a lap later and he is going to try and go round the outside of us he tries to pinch us into the corner but that's not going to work is he think he's battling he may have had his porridge this morning Bottas but he does realise who he's battling doesn't he as down the inside he goes again and he does actually re-overtake re -overtake us there Valtteri Bottas so he quite clearly has had his porridge this morning 
and now we're just gonna have to wait and this battle this is personal because if you think back to as we swap bot as the dummy again i'll go back to that point in just a second round the outside on lap 29 but the end of the race is lingering this is a replay we swap him the dummy and then go to the outside of Bottas he tries to kind of force us off the track there at mid corner and that didn't work and we just beat around the outside of him skipping on though to the end of that lap and he's still there Valtteri Bottas and he's now trying to go around the outside we defend him though and now he's probably going to get another run on us here through turn 3 through the centre races and now down towards turn four and now round the outside he tries again but that's not going to work as we do defend there and this battle is personal this is very personal you think back to britain and silverstone and all of those races but out of the race goes lewis hamilton there and that is quite literally his championship going up in frame going up in flames it is literally copy and paste of what happened in malaysia in 2016 he's in with a chance of the title and his engine blows here in sao paulo in interlagos here in brazil on to lap 31 and here comes Bottas again round the outside we get the job done we just about stay ahead but he's gonna have another run run at us here heading through turn three and now towards turn four he has the drs where's he gonna go inside or outside he's gonna go outside round the outside he tries to go on us again on to lap 33 now of the brazilian grand prix and he re-overtakes us but back down the inside we go just like we did to max verstappen earlier on in this grand prix and we stay ahead of the fin there and i need a bridge for this is a mental battle here we come again down the inside goes factory bottas we defend here to the outside and we just about stay ahead and now going on from lap 35 onto the final lap of this Grand Prix Valtteri Bottas tries to go to the outside again couldn't do it and now we have to defend and now we can defend through the the center races and now down towards turn four he's gonna have another go to the outside this is his second bite of the cherry can he do it though no we can't we defend we go wide and I think now as long as we can pull a gap as we skip on to the end of the lap and we are going to be victorious here in brazil and that is a lovely way to win we beat bottas it's going to be sebastian vettel third that is sweet sweet revenge if you think back to silverstone that race has been on my mind every single time I go wheel to wheel or I see Valtteri Bottas and look at that for the championship we're now a single point in front of Charles Leclerc in the constructors we are now 16 points behind Ferrari so each championship is very much still in our hands and do not miss Abu Dhabi because that is going to be a race worth watching we're a point ahead of Charles Leclerc so it's literally going to be whoever finishes in front of one another is going to win this 2020 world championship we have a worn engine but I don't care about that we've just won and we could be one round away from being a world champion I'll see if we can do it in Abu Dhabi goodbye